there are a number of studies uh, across the country that talk about population growth in the United States and the world and what that means for infrastructure. And at least a number of those studies are suggesting that a third to a half of the buildings that are going to exist in the next 30 to 50 years don't yet exist. We're distinctly a program that's about training people to be very creative, very cutting edge in design, but also linking that to how a building goes together so that they are not producing graphic design, they're producing architecture. It's a 100 unit major, about a third of the units are math and science, and then an additional 20 units in hardcore engineering, and then the remainder in architecture, architectural design, breadth electives that can include painting, sculpture, uh, but again, kind of studio-oriented things, plus architectural history. We have students who are true civil engineering majors, they're structural engineering majors who take a lot of our courses. We have students who are very creative, very interested in design, take a lot of their in-depth electives in the arts, uh, drawing, painting, sculpture, and then we have everybody in between. The truly architectural courses are taught by lecturers, all practicing architects. The last studio is taught by a firm rather than a person, and they bring a specific perspective. I was looking for a major that was going to be pretty flexible for kind of my diverse interests, and I look at design as something that's problem solving, not necessarily just an aesthetic sort of practice. And so I was looking for the marriage between design and engineering. I think design and engineering together bring you a skill set to solve problems in creative ways, and um, even ones that are of technical nature. And I think that's really compelling. Everyone who is in my major in my year is really, really passionate about what they do. I think which is why it's also really exciting to be in the program. You can take it wherever you want, so the people who are doing this degree like, really are interested in it. Buildings generate, through their usage and through construction, greater amount of CO2 than transportation sector. And so as we move forward trying to solve the sustainability challenges and to rebuild our climate, architecture has to be a prime mover in that. Our students are learning how to build green buildings and working on the zero energy buildings of the future. Because we're leveraging the engineering program here, our students are coming out knowing how a building goes together, not just structurally, but in terms of building systems, mechanical, electrical. But they're also coming out with really first-rate skills in project delivery, 3D imaging, and really cutting-edge areas in terms of parametric design. And so our students are finding themselves with really good jobs, and they're also getting into the finest graduate schools in the country. Where you build, how you build, and what you build is really important. And architects can be passive in the sense that a developer can come to them and say, I want this kind of building. Or architects can be proactive in saying, well, here's where we think the world is going, and this is where we think the world needs to go to solve some of our global challenges, climate amongst them. At Stanford, we're educating architects in that latter category. We're educating leaders.